Hey, Pastor Scott here at the Weekly Word. We're looking today at a passage in 1 Corinthians 10, and we're titling uh, this devotional here as Know Who You Are, talking about escaping temptations, but really the, the number one way to escape temptation is to, is to know who you are, to know who God says you are, to, to know what He says about you, to know your new identity in Him, to, to know that you're a a new creation, no longer bound by uh, the old self. And so Paul, in 1 Corinthians 10, verses 12 and 13, he'd been talking about how Israel, when they were brought out of bondage to Egypt, I mean, they had it all going for them, leading, God leading them out of bondage and imprisonment, and, and Jesus was with them, and miracles were happening, and yet they still fell into temptation. And so Paul writes... You're not exempt, in verse 12. You could fall flat on your face as easily as anyone else does. So he's writing to this, writing to us now. Um, He he said in the previous verse, I'm I'm recording this stuff about Israel so so that us today, right now, we can be aware. He says, forget about self confidence, it's useless. Cultivate God confidence. No test or temptation that comes your way is beyond the course of what others have had to face. We all face common temptations. All you need to do is remember that God will never let you down. He'll never let you be pushed past your limit because He'll always be there to help you, help you come through it. So the first question, looking at temptations to each of us, because each of us have common temptations, is do you, do I, do, do we know where each of us individually are tempted? I'm typically not tempted by alcohol or drugs or or sex issues. That could be somebody else's story. My temptations are anger and pride and control and uh, criticism, those things I've struggled with in the past. So I have to be aware of common temptations in my life. Are you aware of those things that that are common to you that you're tempted by? Because that's how the enemy is going to come at you. He has a scheme. He hates you. Every human on the planet ever is going to be tempted. So just know uh, the temptations common to you. And then secondly, do you know your escape route? That's huge. He he says right here that he'll always give you a way out, a way to come through it. He's there with you. Uh, Whatever version you read, most of them say there's a way of escape or there's an escape route or there's a plan of escape that God has provided for you. for somebody who struggles with drugs, the escape route is don't hang around those people. They're still struggling with drugs. If you're if you struggle with uh, with drinking, don't go down that that road literally where where the bar was that you used to go get drunk at. Um, for those who struggle with anger, man, be be praying. Get your mind on Christ. Have worship music going. Have people pour into your life that when you start to get riled up, you can call or you can text and go, I'm getting riled up, and they can go. Hey, I'm going to pray for you right now, or I'm coming over. And, and, and find your way of escape from that, that temptation of anger or maybe that temptation of fear. If you're driven by fear, have people that can pour into your life and, and read scripture about how God is there for you and, and makes a way for you. And then thirdly, do you know your identity in Jesus? Do you know who you are? The Bible is full of of verses telling you who you are now in Jesus. Not who you once were, because if you follow Jesus, you are not a sinner any longer. You're a saint. I know you blow it. I blow it too. But sinner doesn't define us as followers of Jesus. Saint defines us. There's this um, handout we used this week in church as we talked about knowing our escape route and, and, uh, and knowing who we are in Jesus. And we just titled it, Who Am I? my identity in Jesus um, and it's going to pop up at the at the end here and then if you want text us call us uh, email us and we'll, we'll send you a copy of this but it, it it's full of scriptures not even all the scriptures in in the Bible but full of scriptures references and then what what your new identity in Christ is I'm loved I'm a member of Jesus body I'm victorious because of Jesus I'm a new person in Jesus I'm adopted by God through Jesus I'm complete in Christ. I'm enabled to share in Jesus' divine nature. Take this. Take scripture that talks about your identity 
in Him and, and let that renew your mind. When you know who you are, you'll be able to make the decisions that God wants you to make in staying free and healthy and whole. So know your escape route, know who you are in Jesus, and live free in Christ.